Hello guys, so in my last video I think it was, I said I had like one after school thing coming in, but I'm gonna, this is this right here, and I'm gonna show you guys what that is after, but I just wanna go over a few little things, um, this morning when I woke up I saw the Love Letter full music reel, um, I'm, I loved it, I really loved that video, I've heard the whole album already, I love every single song, and I've re like replayed Love Letter like a billion times already, and I really love that song, and I still planning to listen to it, but I don't have my iPod with me, so that's why that there's no music playing. But, um, I noticed that, uh, Ara got her little part, like a little part, like she shared a part with Reyna at the bridge, and it was, she has a really great voice. I, like, I really like her voice. And, and so I'm really excited, like, I can't wait to see her in after school. Hopefully she joins, joins after school. And, um, I noticed in the very beginning, after school boys got like they were doing like a little photo shoot and I noticed Dong Ho wasn't in it and I'm kind of sad about that because I don't think Dong Ho will be joining after school boys I think he's gonna be joining in like an another group that's gonna be debuting from plus and so I was kind of sad about that because she was he was the one I was looking forward to the most and I noticed Ji Young got more lines in the song which is really good because usually she gets like one small little part but she got more lines this time and also she got discharged from the hospital so I'm really happy about that and she can start promoting after school again so some of you guys have been asking me where I get my K-pop stuff from and um, I've already answered that question a few times but I'm gonna answer it again I get my stuff at this K-pop store that lives, that's like 45 minutes away from where I live and that's on drive and so I only drop by there like a few couple of times not a lot and um, yesterday I looked on our Facebook page and they were posting up, like they post up pictures of like new items that are going to be stocking and stuff so in case you're, like, you're interested or you want to like, um, what's that word, uh, reserve one, in, like in case it sells out. And so I went on the page and they were doing like pre-orders for these 2012 Korean calendars and they sell like a lot of uh, Big Bang and like shiny stuff. And Infinite also, like, I feel like that shop's a little biased. Maybe they're not biased, but maybe they're trying to, like, stock and stuff that would sell. Because I see lots of, like, M Black Beast, um, SNSD, Super Junior Shiny stuff there. And so I was hoping, like, you don't see much after school stuff there just because after school, you can't really find it. Even online, you can't really find any unofficial stuff from them. Only official stuff. So every item that I bought is basically from that store. So like all my posters, all my CDs and stuff like that, they're all from that store. So I like I go on the page and I see like the pictures of those calendars and stuff. And they're like packages, right? But and then like just yesterday they uploaded like more groups that they're gonna have in stock and they had like uh after school, right? So I was like, oh my gosh, I wanna get this and stuff. But then they personally emailed me just because I'm like a regular customer there and they know that I love after school. So they personally emailed me asking me if I had any um, interest in pre-ordering one, right? Because they said that they give me like a 10% discount if I do want to. And then I haven't replied to them yet because uh, I'm still thinking about it. Well I, well, I should reply to them now, but, but basically what it is is like like um, an after school calendar package so you get like this calendar that's like about this big I think and um, it comes with a diary, I, um, stickers, postcards, a mini poster I think and the calendar and they give you like a magazine like a broad my magazine I'm guessing it's this one like not this issue but because this is uh, November's issue maybe December's issue but they give you a magazine basically it's like a k-pop magazine it's just like filled with k-pop stuff and yeah you get you get all that and I they don't even know what the price is yet for it like they took a guess they said it could be between 40 to 60 dollars and then that's like a big problem for me because that's like a lot of money right and they said that it'll be ready for pre-order like December 5th so they need my they need my answer by December 5th and um, they said it would be released, I think, December 12th, so it should be in their store near, like, the end of December or mid-December, I'm not sure. But they need my answer, and I'm still thinking about it, but I think I might get it just because I spoke with my mom about it, and she told me that if I wanted it, she can give me that for my Christmas present. And so, 
and it's just it just seems like like even though my mom's gonna pay for it and stuff for like my Christmas present, it just seems like a lot of money itself. Just because I have I had no idea there was gonna be so many things after school be releasing. Like I said, I'll only be buying stuff from after school. I didn't think they'd be releasing so many things. Like they had like I already paid for the Diva CDs, right? But then they have the Rambling Girls, and then they have Happy Pledis, and then they have um that package thing coming in too so it just seems like a lot i mean like if you think about it it just doesn't seem like a lot when i'm saying it but like three three japanese albums right plus the happy plus and plus that package that's like like two hundred dollars probably right there so it's just like a lot of money to me but i want it i want it really 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 bad so i think i'm gonna get it and so I still have to reply. I'll most likely make up my mind by the end of the day, and I'll reply to them about it. And yeah, so when I when it gets here, I'll unbox that, show you guys what you guys get, and like if you guys have an interest, I'll link the website um, in the description if you guys want. It's, but it's like in Korean writing, so I don't know if that would be any help. But if I can find any other sites that will be selling it, then I'll link it in the description. So moving on to my. Um, thing that I want to show you guys right here. So it's a wasp girl and I got from that K-pop store that I buy stuff from. Like I went, I dropped by that store like on the weekend and I told them that I really wanted a wasp girl from them and then they told me that they did have some coming in because they sell like tons and tons of wasp girls. They, t they sell tons of merchandise, like not just CDs and stuff, but like a lot of unofficial stuff too. Like they have pillows, uh, water bottles, playing cards, postcards, stickers, just like and like calendars and stuff like that. just like tons of unofficial stuff so like basically everything you see on kpoptown.com they have it there and um so they they told me if i wanted this they could i could just pay like the money and like they can just ship it to me because i didn't want to go back there and so um yeah so they they gave i asked them they knew what it looked like right so they showed me like three pictures so they said like this was one of the concepts and I love this concept. This is probably my favorite after school concept, like outfit concept, but there's no Lizzie and Lizzie's one of my favorite memories. So like as much as I really wanted this one, I kinda wanted Lizzie in the picture. So I didn't take that one. Then the other one was like this Happy Plus one and like I like this one too and I want my Happy Plus poster, but I don't have one. But I wanted this but then if you look, there's no Becca, right? And even though Becca, like, left the group, she's still, like, an original member, and I still really like Becca, so I kind of want Becca in it, too. And then the, the last one, I'm going to show you guys what it is. And, yeah, so, like, it's in this really, really long tube. And I already took the this tape off from the end, so it'll be easy for me to unbox. But just give me a second right now. I'm going to take it out of this tube. Okay, so the tube was like really, really long, but it, the the wasp girl ended up only being like this long. So it's, still, it's actually shorter than I thought, but but this cost me like I think fifteen dollars. So I'm gonna open it up right now. Oh my gosh, you guys! I don't even know what it looks like. Like, I know what the picture looks like, but, so, I don't know, it's just like a hook or something for it. Where's the other one? Is there not two? Oh, whatever. Ah, it's right here. Oh, so basically, it's right there. So basically, this one just, like, fell off. And how the hell do you put it back on? I don't know. Okay, what? I'll just, I'll just do that after. Okay, so, it's Tower of the Lost Band. Okay, so I'm going to lay this out for you guys. If you're an after school fan, I think you guys can tell what the concept is already just by looking at it. Oh my gosh, you guys. Oh my gosh, I'm loving this. I'm loving this. Okay, so my bed is really small, so I'm going to have to like move my blanket or something. <laughs> So, excuse me for a second. Okay, so. Okay, there you go. That's it. So, this is the one I chose, and I love it. So, if you're, um, if you're new to after school, or, you're, or you just don't know 
what concept this is. This is the outfit concept for their variety show Playgirl School. And I chose this one because I've seen Playgirl School like 20 times. Like the whole 13 episodes like 20 times. And it has Becca right there. And then it has Lizzie down there. And it has all of them. And I'm so happy. And I just love this right now. Okay, so, sorry, the battery kind of died, so I had to crop some part out, but, so, this is a wall scroll, and that's what my after school wall looks like that, right now, like my mini after school wall. Let me turn the TV down. So that's my mini after school wall right now, and it kind of changed since the last time I showed you guys. And it's, um, okay, so, I was, I was originally gonna move that after school blue poster with all those little things and move it to, like, that wall. Like, I could keep this right on that wall, but I'm not sure. I kind of want the wall screw on this wall. Because, like, I want to... Because, right, see, this is my bed, right? So, I'm lying down in bed. Right there. And, ignore the air conditioner, but... If you look... I can't really see the wall screw that clearly. So, I kind of want to keep it down there. I mean, like, I could see it if I walked through the door, but... Oh, so I'm going to hang up right now, and I'm going to show you guys what it looks like afterwards. Okay, hold on. Okay, so I put it up, and I can, if you can tell, I put on that wall instead. The wall where I can't really see it from my bed. Because I tried fitting on this wall, and it, like, just fit. And so it was kind of touching my, my jail wall, and I kind of wanted, like, a space between the jail wall and my after school. And so it didn't really look that great. So, the fact that I wanted that wall didn't really happen. So, I had to put on this wall. And it looks pretty good to me. And I left a little bit of space up there. Simply because I might put like a banner or something there. I'm not sure yet. But yeah, so that's what the wall scroll looks like. And I really, really, really love it. Oh my gosh. My little Becca, I understand what you mean. Oh my gosh. <gasps> So this is my after school wall. I kind of changed from the last time. I showed you guys what it looked like. I kind of moved stuff around. I kind of added some stuff. Um, it's a really small wall. I wish I had more after school stuff. But I don't because I don't have a PayPal or credit card. So I can't buy like the other posters that I'm missing. And I really, really want those posters. Because that store I buy from, they don't restock on posters. It's like a one-time sell kind of thing. And so I'm missing like... A bunch of their posters and I really want them so once I get PayPal I'll definitely go like buy those posters and like maybe I'll have to like move that jail wall aside just so I can extend my after school wall and I want my whole room to be like after school themed to be honest but um like if you watch people on YouTube where they show their SNSD room their room is like filled with SNSD stuff and I love SNSD but they're not my favorite group so um, I don't even have an SSD wall. Does that make sense? I mean, they're my second favorite group, and I don't have a wall of SSD. That's that's just kind of weird to me. But um, yeah, I really really want more after school stuff. If I can get my hands on them, I'll definitely buy them. And also for those of you who are new to Playgirl um, after school me. If you haven't checked out Playgirl School, definitely go check it out. It's a really funny variety show. You'll get to learn more about the members. And they're all subbed. All 13 episodes are subbed right now. So thank you to Playgirl World Subs for subbing that. And I'm actually re-watching it again. Uh, for like the billionth time already. <laughs> and um, yeah, basically, mostly because like I make fan videos with uh, the clips from Playgirl School on my other YouTube channel. But I'm rewatching again, and I really love that show. So if you guys haven't checked it out, go ahead and check it out. It's a really good show. And, um, yeah, so my Diva stuff should arrive here next week or a week after. I'm not sure. And I'll, I'm really excited because I'm wondering who's full of car I'm going to get. And, yeah, that's basically it. So thank you guys for watching, and bye-bye.